Hey everyone, welcome to another Goodie Reader video. My name is Michael. My name is Peter. Today we're going to look at the web browsing experience that's found on the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite 3. Yeah. Few people know that you can actually access the greater internet uh, with an e-reader. And this is especially important, not only if you have the Wi-Fi edition, but if you yeah. spurge the extra money and get the 3G model, so yes. you can buy books on the go, you can surf the web as you go. So it's called Experimental Browser when you hit the settings menu. Can't hear that without laughing. Seven generations of Kindle, still experimental. Yeah. What, what, what is left that they have to figure out? So we do have a mobile edition for our website, but I noticed when you actually go to it on the Paperweight 3, it's not calling the mobile edition like you see here on Should Peter's smartphone. Should look like this guy, but instead it's calling up the desktop edition. So how do you, you know, this isn't necessarily easily readable. Navigation bar is kind of screwed up. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn it into article mode, which will strip away the main navigation bar and make it so you could easily read a singular article. You can flip pages between both of them. Looks like long press is not enabled on article mode on web browsers. All right, so let's click just read more. Now it is an article mode, but it still takes a while for any website to really kind of load on this uh, e-reader. So uh, you have to bear in mind that you're not going to get the same type of fluid experience no. as say you would on tablets, yeah. smartphone, even your computer. So this is not those devices. You notice that we were on article mode when we clicked on an article and then suddenly it switched out of article mode yeah. to show the main website version. So mm -hmm. you need to kind of keep clicking on article mode if you want to kind of bypass this. So it does clean it up though. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you're reading like this, this is way more fluid because it, it almost kind of reads like an ebook. Now you do have some browser settings, disable images, JavaScript, clear cookies, not a whole lot of information there. Now with the Amazon devices and internet browsing, you can check our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash goodyreader. You can actually go to any of your email services, uh, Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo, and you can send emails. We've shown that in uh, multiple videos, so you can indeed, when you're on your trip and you have your e-reader, say your phone dies for any reason or whatever, whatever the case may be, you can send an email to and from recipients on your device, which is really cool for an e-reader. Yeah. So you can pinch and zoom when you're, say, like on Google and things like that. The keyboard is fairly robust. It's pretty responsive too. Yeah. Not bad. So when you're just calling up Google, it's pretty easy to get results. Got to kind of find that space where, oh, look, goody reader, huh? First page, yo. Yeah. Uh, you you got to make sure you, you're pinch and zoomed enough so that you don't have these annoying margins and you can actually read what you're looking at. So, and once again, please be patient. It is an e-reader and it is loading the internet. So it is gonna be slower. Ah, uh, totally. So not a whole lot of settings when it comes to being able to augment your experience, but you can disable enough things to strip away images, go into article mode. But as you see, there's some problems with article mode. Anytime you flip to a new page and it's loading up a new set of data, yeah, you're going to kind of load your article, article mode. So that's one of the big things I have, but you can send emails on this device. You can visit your favorite website. You can go to Twitter. You can go to the mobile edition of Facebook. Yep. Uh, there's a lot of things that this can do but i figure internet browsing is fine but you're probably better off using it like on your computer smartphone or tablet but you can do it on an e-reader like a last resort kind of thing i feel yeah you know it's like oh man i gotta find this map address and you're like oh you look on the desk and there's a kindle so you're like oh i guess it works so yeah so you're not yeah. gonna get flash you're not gonna yeah. get like html5 I mean, you elements can't watch and 1080p things 1080p movies on this no oh my god no, mind no. blowing <laughs> oh my all god. right so this is the overall internet browsing experience on the amazon kindle paperweight 3 let us know what you think by dropping a comment below for goody reader my name is michael my name is Peter. everybody see you later bye